Battled Harvard President Claudine Gay is being hit tonight with new allegations of plagiarism, and Congress announced it is widening its investigation of her. More than 40 examples submitted to Harvard University yesterday by an anonymous professor from another school include cases already reported, plus dozens of new ones. The complaint asks Harvard to look into research misconduct by the president and the possible mishandling of earlier allegations of plagiarism. This is just the latest in a series of scandals for the controversial president. She came under fire for her disastrous testimony before Congress about two weeks ago in a hearing on anti-Semitism on college campuses. Gay refused to say whether calls for genocide of Jews violates Harvard policy. Her tone-deaf comments led to an emergency meeting by the Harvard Corporation. It ultimately supported Gay continuing as university president, but it did criticize her for, quote, an improper citation in her scholarship and announced she is correcting two published articles. But at least one legal scholar says that's not enough. Dr. Carol Swain, best-selling author of The Adversity of Diversity, says Gay cribbed her work to pad Gay's doctoral thesis. She argues the university is not holding to its own president the to the same standards of scholarship it enforces with its faculty and students. Dr. Swain joins us now. Thanks so much for joining us. You said on social media, I rarely get angry, but I'm angry. Claudine Gay should resign post haste for the sake of Harvard and for the harm done to American education. What's your reaction to news tonight that Congress is now investigating her charges of plagiarism? I don't know if Congress should be investigating her charges of plagiarism. I think that the Harvard Corporation and the Board of Trustees should do their jobs. And I think that Claudine Gay, and I'm not going to call her Dr. Gay, because to get a doctorate, you have to successfully defend a dissertation that has original ideas. And so if your dissertation was plagiarized, I'm not sure you are actually a doctor. How did she, and you say she plagiarized your work. Was it verbatim language lifted from your book? How much of your text? There, there are a couple of things. Uh, there are two places, one from my prize-winning book, Black Faces, Black Interests, that was considered pathbreaking, the seminal work in the field on black congressional representation. It was published in 1993, updated in 95, and reprinted in 2006. It won three national prizes, was cited by the Supreme Court and lower court decisions, was selected by Library Choice Magazine as one of the four outstanding books of 1994. And she, there's one paragraph or so from Black Faces, Black Interests, and then there's another paper that I wrote in 1997 that there are a few sentences. My argument is that her whole dissertation topic, how she approached it, and the articles that I read were de derivative of my work, and that she did not adequately acknowledge that in what should have been a literature review. And it's clear when you read my work, my, my uh, book, Black Faces, Black Interests, and her dissertation and her early published work, it was supposed to try to counter and have a thesis that was opposite of mine. But if right. she had done the work properly, she would have cited the work, she would have engaged it. So I, my contention is she engaged in plagiarism and intellectual dishonesty, and that her work was not original, that it was derivative of mine. Now, an investigation by Harvard found that paragraphs and sentences from other works were nearly identical in language. The Harvard Crimson said some were minor, but that others did, in fact, seem to violate Harvard's current policies on plagiarism. In academia, this is a big deal. What normally happens to somebody when they plagiarize someone else? Well, I mean, if you are at a high level, like a faculty member or president of a university, <laughs> normally you have to step down. It should, uh, in most cases, it is dealt with. I'm not sure what happens when you plagiarize your dissertation because the dissertation is what gets you your doctorate. But just, and just, I also but just so um, Dr. Swain, just so our audience knows, what would happen to a student of yours or a student of hers if they did this in one of their papers? 
Well, I mean, the, the student could be suspended, especially if it was a senior thesis or a major work. And uh, I, I, I mean, I probably would either fail the student in the class or give them an F for that paper and make them uh, redo it because <laughs> that's probably how I would deal with an undergraduate in a paper if I thought it was accidental. Right. But normally, you could be suspended, you could be kicked out of school. But with moral, moral relativism, I think universities have been a slacker than usual and that they have not enforced the penalties. But we know that Harvard University kicked out a number of students for plagiarism. And there's a case involving another political science professor that other uh, colleagues from other universities say that some of the work was fabricated and Dr. Gay prevented... Right. Right. Me, excuse me, Ms. Gay prevented uh, investigation of those allegations. Well, I just want to reiterate, I mean, according to the Harvard Crimson, some of her work appeared to violate Harvard's current policies on plagiarism. We're talking about the current president of Harvard uh, and doing something that most students would be uh, kicked out of school for doing. Uh, Dr. Carol Swain, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show and congratulations on all the success and acclaim that you've received for your books and your work thus far. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.